of all the beautiful animals in our neighborhoods, uh, the deer is certainly one of the one of the very special ones. This time of year, we see the fur is is perhaps an orange brown in, in color. What what color would you call that? I, I think orange brown is is uh, fairly fairly accurate. Uh, when the fall comes, they will turn a much grayer brown that'll blend in so much better with the brush and the, the dead weeds. In the winter, of course, uh, their, their tracks look almost like arrows pointing in the direction that they're going. First to the left and now this one to the right. Uh, as I mentioned, in the winter, their fur turns gray and the hair is actually hollow, which makes a, a, an excellent uh, uh, way of insulating the deer and keeping them warm through the winter. Um, we, we call them the white-tailed deer. And the reason for that is because when they're alarmed or, or frightened and they begin to run, they will hold up their tail in the back, making a large white flag to warn the other deer in the herd that there's something amiss and something they, they might want to be uh, uh, careful about. So it makes for a nice, silent warning signal. Now, these deer are, are young bucks. They're just starting to grow their antlers. You see the black spots up above their eyes. And the antlers uh, form all summer long. They'll be growing and developing and they're covered with what we call velvet. And the velvet is, has, a, has a rich blood supply and uh, the, the, the antlers will grow all summer long until they're fully formed. And then the velvet will dry up and the deer will uh, rub the antlers on branches and trees and, and eliminate the, the, the soft velvet and he'll be left with a, a fine rack of, of sharp antlers. Now, deer are easy to see out in the field, but when they're in the woods, well, can you see this deer? There he is. They get pretty hard to, 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 to notice. What about this deer? Do you see the deer lying down watching you? There he is. Yep, keeping a close eye on things. Well, how about this deer? Do you see the deer? There it is, lying down behind the brush and uh, being safe. When fawns are born, they're born with an instinct that if they sense trouble, they will curl up in a ball and stay perfectly still. As you can see, they're covered with white spots, which sort of looks like sunlight flowing down through, through the leaves of the trees around them and helps to disguise them. When fawns are born, it takes about an hour before they can stand. It takes about a day before they can walk. But then after a week, they can run and keep up with their mothers. There it goes. For such a little animal, it can really run quickly. They have a keen sense of smell and excellent hearing and the eyes work just as well at night as they do in the daytime. But deer eat a lot. They have to. And for every uh, 10 pounds of deer, why, they will eat almost a pound of vegetable matter. So if you happen to have a garden, or if you're a landscaper, you might not appreciate having a 140-pound deer coming in and eating 10 pounds of your vegetables or your, your flowers every evening. In the springtime, they eat the, the green, the foliage, the, the grass and, and the brush. By fall, they'll be eating acorns and fruits that they may find. And finally, in the winter, they'll be eating evergreens and bark and, and whatever they, they can find to, to stay alive. So, there we have the deer, one of the gentle and beautiful creatures that make up our neighborhood environment.